good functional movement, going down into a full squat, coming up, and then we're throwing the ball up at a target. You notice there's two targets up here. We got a 10 foot line for the men and a nine foot line for the women. Okay, when we're setting up for some uh, wall balls, first thing you want to do is make sure you know, the rack here is open and free. Get these J hooks and kind of get the way the ball comes down, hits it. They can rip the ball, you break the ball, you buy the ball. Okay, so make sure you take those off, get them out of the way. I also now I'm going to grab the ball. He's going to get set up here on this target, going about an arm's distance away from the rack. Okay? Once he picks the ball up, he's going to go down into a full squat, and then he's going to come up and throw the ball high up. Okay? Now he's going to try to string some of these reps together. He's going to catch it, right into the squat, and then back up. Okay, hold it. Common mistakes is a lot of times people try to break this movement up. They go down into the squat. Stop, they come up, and then they try to throw the ball. Okay, if you want to do this kind of this one motion, okay? Squat, come up, and throw. Okay? Another common mistake you will see is people not going low enough. They're going to tend to bend at the hip and lean forward, thinking they're going low enough, but they're not actually low enough. So one thing that's going to help making sure those feet maybe a little bit wider, driving those knees out so we sit our butt all the way down and past that hip crease and then firing it up with the ball. Okay, I'll also show us two more. Catching on the way down and firing up. Good. 